are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 16th of March 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with election matters. Jando accuses Bode George and PDP elders of sabotage. Buhari's government is incompetent and insensitive, says Baba Ahmed. Don't use ONSA for campaign. Igbo sociocultural group warns politicians. PDP and article withdraw court application against INEC. British envoy says Nigerian elections has been fascinating. Rivers lawmaker not with $498,000 and has been remanded in prison. Son Wolu donates 100 million naira to a career market after fire incident. Eco Forum endorses Gwadebo Road Viva for governor. In other national matters, national census to hold in May. IPOB issues update of Kanu worsening medical condition. Nigeria and Israel to deepen partnership in tech. Police arrest suspected bandit behind killing of 15 people in Castina. In business, Nigeria's inflation rate hits 21.91% amid cash crunch. Nigeria Bureau faces 2.5 billion naira lawsuits. Nigeria's GDP to lose 15 trillion naira due to CBN's naira redesign policy, KPMG Oyeyemi Carles says. In international news, death toll from Indonesia's landslide rises to 50 people. 11 people dead and many injured during Iran's traditional fire festival. In technology news, OpenAI unveils GPT-4 with human-level performance. Abu Dhabi-based AI firm G42 acquires over $100 million stake in ByteDance. And lastly, in sport, UEFA Champions League. Only Napoli can stop Man City, Agriff says. Liverpool's chance is 1%. Club says ahead of Real Madrid clash. Arsenal announced board changes. Get details of this news and more on our website tomorrow at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media at Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Ogoni. Good night.